what do you think about creating a new department within the city of Columbus for a civilian review board and inspector general of the Columbus police? That's the question that Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther wants on the ballot in November. Now at 6, 10 TV's Lacey Crisp explains how the board will be formed. Citizens will get a say in November if they want a civilian review board of the Columbus Police Department. But Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther says who is on that board and their exact duties won't be determined until after the election. The Charter Amendment will allow Columbus voters to clearly demonstrate their desire for police reform and establish a framework for a civilian review board that has subpoena powers. Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther is proposing to change the city charter to add a new, fully funded department with a board and inspector general to review the actions of police officers. Independence that the community has confidence in. Independence that the community trusts. Not simply just another law enforcement agency that looks and sounds just like the system that so many have lost faith in. Ginther says he doesn't know exactly how much it will cost taxpayers, but says it will be independent from the Columbus Police Department and his office. But establishing this body provides for the independent investigations Columbus residents expect. While the mayor's office released a draft of the amendment proposal, many of the details won't be decided until after the November election. Last month, Ginther announced a working group and says it will be up to that body to make those decisions if the amendment is passed. We think there's enough detail at this point, uh, and I trust the people of Columbus to know exactly what they're voting on. The city attorney says the city council will decide the exact duties and authority of the board. Through ordinances, once this is passed by the people of the city of Columbus, city council will be able to add specifics as it relates to the process, expanded duties, and greater authority of the review board itself. In a statement, the Fraternal Order of Police said the mayor has not sent them a proposal to discuss, saying, quote, It is unfortunate that Mayor Ginther feels the need to waste tens of thousands of taxpayer dollars of their time on a charter amendment. We welcome a dialogue and to use the collective bargaining process to move forward for everyone. But Mayor Ginther is not out to compromise. There is a public hearing for the amendment scheduled on Wednesday at 3 o'clock. Council is also expected to take up the issue next Monday to decide if they'll put it on the ballot. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.